video, we'll show a few practical craft ideas. Watch this video and learn how to use them in your DIY projects. Are you constantly losing your jewelry? Make a holder to keep your ring safe and secure. We'll need a large sponge. It's too thick. Cut it in half. Take a fitting box. Put in the sponge. Make small cuts for the rings. Put in your jewelry. You won't lose a thing with this practical jewelry organizer. Besides, it lets you set all your rings before your eyes. Today we'll show how to make a convenient candy-shaped plastic bag holder. We'll need sky blue poplin, used paper towel rolls, and a thin beige satin ribbon. Mark the plastic bag roll size and add a bit extra space on the cardboard roll. Cut off the excess using a craft knife. Place the cardboard roll on the fabric to see how much we need for the basic detail. Cut off the excess. Cut out a 4 inch strip across the fabric edge. The length of the strip is twice as much as the length of the basic detail. Cut it in half. Trim the edges. Don't forget to fray check. Add some hot glue to the top of the cardboard roll. Attach the strip. Leave the fabric edge on the upside. Fold the strip end inside and glue. Repeat for the other side of the roll. Fold the basic detail across the edge and smooth the crease. Add hot glue to the roll across the fabric strip edge. Attach the basic detail to the cardboard over the entire surface, adding the glue in small portions. Be careful to pull up the fabric to make it smooth. Fold the edge of the cloth inside. Attach carefully. Attach the ribbon handle to hang the holder. Mark the needed length. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the other side of the handle. Conceal the attachment place by sticking the ribbon around the holder. Cut off the excess. Glue the end. Attach the ribbon around the bottom of the holder. It's time to stuff the candy. Unroll the end of the bag roll. Put it inside, leaving the end of the bag outside. Take two pieces of the ribbon and fray check the ends. Tie the candy wrapper. Make a bow. Check if the bag can be pulled out easily. Tie the same bow on top. Cool! The plastic bag holder is ready. Now your bags will not be a mess anymore. And still there will be an unusual sky blue wrapper candy decoration. In this video, we'll show how to create a floral string art pattern to decorate a wooden box. We'll need a blank wooden box, acrylic paints of brown shades, flat brushes, and water. Start by painting the wooden box. Squeeze brown paint into a cup. Mix it with water to enhance the wood pattern when applied. Paint the box.
Start decorating when it's dry. Use the dandelion pattern. You can find it in the attachment to this tutorial. Prepare the nails, 5 8 inch length. We'll need a hammer. Draw the dandelion pattern on the lid. You can either use the pattern from the attachment or draw it by hand. Trace any round object of the appropriate size. Mark the center. Draw a smaller circle inside. Start making the marks in the central part following the pattern. Use a ruler to make the job easier. Mark the dots on the bigger circle and outside. The pattern is ready. Hammer the nail in the center. Then add the nails to the marking. Done! We'll need white and green threads for the next step. Fasten the end of the green thread around the nail edge. Weave around the nails, shaping the dandelion stem. Wind around each nail. The nail heads will keep the thread in place. Cut off the excess. Fasten the end of the thread around the first nail. Hammer the nail to attach the thread with the nail. Cut off the excess. Weave around the nails, shaping the dandelion flower with the white thread. Move from the center outwards. Press the thread down with tweezers if necessary. Join the flower core with the outer circle. Weave the nails several times to make the pattern intense. Link the elements. The job needs patience, but the result is worth it. Embellish the box corners with metal caps. You can buy some in handmade supply shops. Decorate the lid from the inside as a finishing touch. We have hammered to bend the nail ends that are sticking up. Choose a fabric piece to match the string art pattern. Take a piece of soft polyester and cardboard. Trace the box on the cardboard as it fits the lid's inner size. Cut out the pattern. Place it on the polyester and cut it out. Put the polyester on the cardboard and wrap with the cloth. Attach the fabric with double-sided tape. Stick it across the opposite sides of the cardboard. Remove the protecting cover. Attach the cloth pulling up a little. Cut off the excess fabric at the sides leaving the extra space for attachment. Fasten the cloth across the sides in the same way. We've got such a neat pillow. Cool! Attach it to the lid with the tape. Done! This smart box will perfectly keep dry tea or tasty homemade biscuits. Don't hurry to throw away your cans. 
Transform them into a smart holder for your school and DIY supplies. Come on, let's do it! We'll need a can with the label removed. Use spray paint. Add a splash of summer colors to cans of different sizes. Make a hole in the bottom. Hammer a self-tapping screw. Or you can use a nail. Drive the screw in. Make holes in all of the cans. Place the cans on a wooden board however you like. Take self-tapping screws again. Secure the cans on the board. Paint the screws. You can use them when they dry. You can place this colorful organizer on your table or shelf or hang it on the wall wherever you like. In this tutorial, we'll craft a unique cardstock box for note cards. Take a small cardboard box, cut out the top and unnecessary side parts using scissors. We've got the bottom and the walls. We may need the cut cardstock, the lid especially. Place a box lid onto a wooden kitchen cutting board. Cut out the excess using a ruler and a craft knife. Scissors will also work well. Now we can put it into the box easily. Wrap the box over with craft paper. Attach one side with tape. Add white glue and cover with another side. Leave a bit of paper at the edges to cover the whole surface. Crease the corners and fold the paper carefully. Now attach with glue. Turn the box over and press the bottom down. You may put something onto the bottom for several seconds. Be careful to glue all the sides. Now take another side. Crease the corners again. Make a side long cut and fold carefully the paper inside. Do the same to the other sides, cutting off the excess paper corners. Now put some glue on the craft paper and glue to the inner sides of the box. Use a stencil to make cards. Take thick cardstock of any color. We again need a wooden kitchen cutting board and a ruler. Measure the lid width. Mark every inch with a pencil. Shift an inch from the edge. Place a stencil. The cards will be overtopping the edge. Use the ruler and cut the cardstock in half. Now measure the card width. We've determined the height already. Cut out cards of the right size using a craft knife. Make indexes on the cards. Make each index of an inch at an inch size. Take another card. Move an inch from the edge. Cut out the next index. Use the same way to make the other indexes. You may take paper of another color and proceed the same way. Let's return to the box. Erase pencil traces. Place the stencil on the bottom. Decorate the box with color paper. Attach with white glue. We've got a paper sheet with printed pictures to decorate the box. Cut out with scissors. You may either draw something or choose ready pictures of any theme. First choose a place for each picture. Attach with white glue. Cut out a couple more pictures. And glue them to the box. Take a small piece of twine, wind the box. 
tie a bow, and cut off the excess. Now decorate the cards. Use cutout pictures and pattern paper to make the cards bright. Add glue to the pictures and press over with your fingers. Attach necessary notes to the cards using paper clips. For example, take a drawing from the notepad. If the sheet is too big, you may fold it several times. Continue decorating the cards. Be careful to place the cards in the correct order. The indexes should not overlap. Put the cards into the box. Our handmade box for note cards is ready. Leave your comments if you liked the idea. Subscribe to our channel to see various scrapbooking tutorials.